Alright Model Railroad Heads and Enthusiasts, we are here at the famous, where is it at? There it is, Angelo's Hobbies. You guys see it right there. So we're going to go ahead and jump right in the store and we're going to get you guys turned around really quick. So let's go. Alright guys, check this out. We have a Peacemaker Steam Freight set. It is running 149 here at Angelo's Hobbies. It's an O gauge K line. And then we have a John Deere DCS ready to run loco set here. You guys can see it there. Might be kind of hard to see. Um, I believe that is a. I'm not too sure. I can't really see. We'll check it out on the way back, guys. But it is, it is a ready to run John Deere set. And if we come up here. We have the N scale set, and they range from anywhere from 20 on up. So, if you guys see something here you like, be sure to give Angelo Hobbies a uh, call on what you've seen in the video, and uh, get all your get all your rolling stock done. Okay, we're gonna turn over here, guys. So, this is all the accessories. They have thousands and thousands of inventory from bags of trees to grass uh, there we go some lighting um, to make your molds slate gray stone gray burnt umber they got concrete and mind you guys all these tubes are nine bucks they're worth it all right guys you come over here and you can see some trees some build it kits your build it yourself kits um, they also have build it your farm little farm kits right here too as well. Oh look at that! I got light ups, lifelike, eight ninety nine, and then here is a Bachman Village streetcar set special. That's on special for one seventy nine, you guys. So if you guys are, what is this? H O? I believe so. Yeah, yeah. H O. Cool. Let me move this stuff real quick so you guys can see. Christmas set, ease track system. So if you guys are into trolleys, that's probably right up your alley right there. Okay, so we come right here, you guys. Oh, turn the light off here so you can see the figures. So I believe we got some N scale and we got HO figures. Yo, you guys, look how small this is. And I'm thinking my O gauge was smaller. Wow. Okay, check this out here. Got a pack of bicycles and some. Um, we got a, a thug guy there and a regular guy. And we got a kicker or something with a beer in his hand. That's pretty neat. So if you guys need any of your N scale or O gauge or cars and stuff like that, let me know. Moving on. All right, we're back with the second shelf right here on the outer side. So we got motors. You guys want to pause that video and check those out. Uh, we got wheels. What's this for? Um, looks like front trailing trucks. Two by 16 axle set. Okay, nice. So if you guys see anything you like here, be sure to give uh, Angelo's Hobbies a call and ask for less and tell him Clayton sent you. So we got part numbers right here. We got trucks. I don't think nobody wants to do plastic trucks right now. I mean, if you're starting off, which is understandable. But at some point, you guys are going to want to... Oh, there we go. Upgrade. Nice. All right, let's move on to the second shelf, you guys. All right, I promise you guys the next clip here. So we are in with in scale area. Got a couple of bridges up here. If you guys want to see some inventory, let's go ahead and grab one real quick. And we are looking at six ninety nine for this nice trestle. Awesome condition. So everything here you see at Angelo's Hobbies, you guys, is awesome quality, and you are gonna get your money's worth guaranteed. Look at this. Like I said, if you guys don't look when you're on this video while I'm filming, you're never going to see anything. So there's two turbo, two table turnouts right here. 
That's a nice. That's nice. 20 bucks. Look at that. Great deal. And oh, look at that. We got a building right here in scale number 2573 Remco Maintenance. We got a built and ready set here also. I have a barn made by IMAX. Good quality. I'll check this out, guys. We got a box of switches here and some turnouts. All right, for 50 bucks. Man, I think I have a little paw like that, but only one switch and a bunch of turns and two trestle bridges along with that Bachman starter set. Uh, there's the bridge I think I would have, but in a uh, lifelike form, I think. I don't know. We have to go back and look, you guys. And there's a bunch of uh, build-it-yourself kits. So if you guys want to just build it yourself, like I said, come by Angelo's Hobbies. Pick your kit out and get to building. Let's move on. Okay, so we are in the East Track section made by Bachman. Um, this is HO, obviously. So if you guys are looking for extended switches, long turnouts with uh, electric switch turnouts or just whatever you guys are looking for in general, they have turnouts for 33 bucks. Um, half turnouts what is this uh item number 45 44509 got some straights of ho 20 bucks that's a really good deal on this one and then for your starter kits you always got your turnout right here the, your derailer or your v-railer my bad uh with a power cord which is hard to find these days and if we look right here guys we got your draw the line paint colors anything and everything so like i said we got 8.99 here on this turquoise here um from clear and then down here we have your glues and stuff like that and then your your spray can properly paints if you feel like just spray painting model paints as marked you guys can see it right here so we just kind of like come through the bend. Oh, there we go. And then we got Bachman track and price as marked. All right, you guys. So we got 26 bucks and you get one, two, three, four, five, six curves, which is not a bad idea. Okay, so right here we got O gauge. Now, all my old gauge fans, this is where it lies at because you guys are, you just want to know what was up. All right, so we got a couple of transformers down here. Um, I see a Bachman here. I see the sun. Man, I've only seen this one once. Chicago Model International Transformer. That's nice. So that's 60 bucks. Um, and then you got your originals, Sound and Power, 7,000. Man, dude. Talk about serious Transformers back in the day. All right, we got some uh, 504 Frisco shells here. So if you guys are looking for a shell, uh, no price on those. And we got a... Uh, There we go, folks. We got a uh, Saint. Oh, no, wait. Okay, I can't really say that. So if you guys want to. Yeah, if you, you might know what it is. All right. Moving on here, folks. See you in the next clip. All right. So we're on the back side of the O gauge shelf here. Um, I believe this is some more HO, looks like. We got some trailers. We got some uh, containers, like ship containers. Um, they're asking $16.99 for those folks um, So let me step back real quick and you guys can There you go, so if there's something you guys see right here just comment below and uh, I will get with the owner or if you guys want to call The number is right here three two one give them a call and let them know what you're looking for Let's move on you guys 
All right, so here's the O gauge cabises, what we like to call cabise. Oh, and look what we got here. We found a lifelike 11 bucks kit here. Farm set, nice. All right, if you guys, here, let me, there we go. All right, if you guys are looking for a caboose at Angelo's Hobbies, they have Rock Island, Southern Pacific, and Lionel Lines. Um, Santa Fe AT and SF 499. That's not bad. Oh my gosh, I just seen this guy on YouTube. This is a nice unit. Six bucks, you guys. That's a real nice unit. And uh, we got another AT and SF, it is illuminated. Okay, so down here. Oh, they still have it. So I've been thinking about getting these, you guys. These are Thomas the Tank Engine um, passengers, and looks like we have a loose part there. But it's also also missing a roof, so that's what's also throwing me off a little bit of getting them. Uh, number one ten trestle set, folks, in the box, and they are asking twelve ninety nine, and we have a. Uh, this, this switcher, I want to say, remote control track set. Ah, for six bucks. Bridges right here, good deals on them. Got some boxcar scales here. Uh, Baltimore and Ohio, doors do open. Trucks are immaculate. Uh, they're asking $25.99 for that. And we got some uh, K line. And it makes me want to get this, uh, no, not K-Line, Sioux Line. Yeah, this is nice. Wow, look at that under chassis. And there's another one. And there's a Connell Rail. Oh, my word. Wow. I have this exact same one at home. It's a. These are hobo boxcars. <clears throat> and they have a baby Ruth of... Oh, two baby roofs. Wait a minute. Hold on. Three, folks. Three baby roofs cars. And they're asking $25.99. And we got some power lighted lamps right here as well. Let's check those out. Oh, no. There's the switches. Oh, 22 switches. Oh, 27. Check this out. Brand new in the box. Manual switch. And they're asking $19.99. That's a really nice deal. So I may be at, uh, maybe back to hit that up, you guys. Uh, here is a Marks 027 turnout, just sealed. Which are you guys? Um, here is Marks down here below. I would say we would. Okay, well I guess we can get through it real quick. Show you guys a few inventory here. There you go. So, yeah, you guys. And then up here, we got Lifelike and Tyco. Um, obviously, some uh, HO here. So, there's a little bit of everything. Okay, now we're going to start moving on over here to the layout. The HO layout, you guys. So, we're going to go ahead and start off over here, the far corner. As you guys can see, we are set up, or not we, but... Angelo's Hobbies has this set up. And uh, if you guys have any uh, HOs and you live in the area, please come by. Run on the layout with your own remote. And if there's something you didn't get to see, please pause this. I'll turn the light on real quick again for you guys can get. Okay, so this unit is for sale right here. They're asking $350 for it. It has a car stand, a whole mechanic shop. It is a Texaco. So if you guys don't have a piece of Texas, you should need you should get that. Alrighty, what we got here, folks? We got a lumber yard here. Oh yeah. Like I said, guys, come by Angelo's Hobbies and 
got HR run on the layout, get you some rolling stock, and have you a good time. You see here, folks, there's, they, they do have build it yourself, kids. Uh, and now, when you're coming over and you're rolling on the layout, I'm going to show you guys. This is how you get in, and this is how you set it up. So that way, you're not looking a little confused on how what happened to the centerpiece. It folds up. Look at that, folks. All right, now we come over here. We see some more HO stuff. Uh, we see ATNSF, Southern Pacific, folks. Cut this light off for the little glare there for you guys can see. We got some Russian Frisco. Man, when's the last time you guys seen some of that? We got a Sam Hong, Hong, Hongsa EMD SW10 Union Pacific. Yeah, it's been a while since I said that name. All right, now there's Atlas HO track right here, obviously too. So if you guys are into Atlas, be sure, like I said, to come by Angelo's Hobbies or go on their website and check it out and see what there is. Or if you live in the area, make sure you stop by and come show some love, chit chat, uh, buy some rolling stock, buy some track, whatever it is that you need. And just basically show them some love, man, and tell all your friends and family. And then if you come right here, there's some O gauge. Uh, we got Fast Track. Let's see, Fast Track 031 curve, 799. You guys can pause that video and check that out. Okay, so we got some more curve radius, 048 curve, 899. Um we got line out 0361 and a half curve 699 each. Got your short pieces here. Not too very fond of fast track. I don't have a problem with it, but I'm on the old school track. And got your bigger curve radiuses right here. And then you got your short curve pieces for the ones that you need that you, you don't have. And they all start from 699 each. So and then they got lying on four and a half inch straight, six ninety nine. That's what they look like. Uh, if you guys need a re-railer, they can have them for thirteen ninety nine. That's a great, great price. And then they have a twenty two and a half inch degree crossover. They have two of those, so if you guys are looking for those, and a sw t an inner passing loop track pack too, as well, two switches. And then over here, they have a electro electro uh, drench shape HO set turntable, kind of like the ones we've seen for the N scale over there, just a little bit bigger. Yeah, I do believe he's going all to dead rail. All right, folks, and then here is the cabezas, bodies, the body bin where I like to say, yep, you guys are seeing that right. So anything and everything in this little box right here, 75 cents. All right, now we're going to move on to some other rolling stock that are actually on wheels. We got a couple of box cars. We got a couple of gondolas. Got a baby Ruth box car. Um, like I said, you guys, as you're looking through this video, you may see something that catches your eye. We got a couple of tenders. We got a couple of um, a couple of dummies here. Southern nine five six zero four twos. Um, so Union Pacific. We got Santa Fe. There's. Oh, yeah, it looks like we got a dummy show there going. Oh, look at this, folks. When was the last time you seen a Chattanooga ten uh, cold tender? I know, right? That's pretty neat. Even got a... Uh... Wow. Okay, that's... Oh, lastly but not least, folks. You can build the rails yourself here, too, as well. They have every inch and quarter that you need to snip and cut and apply to your rail ties. So... All right, folks, we are back. Uh, this is the other half of the layout. Wait a minute. 
Looks like they got stuck in there. They were playing slick at four o'clock in the morning, probably. Look at this trestle bridge, though. All right, folks, we got this back other side along the wall here. Check that out. The other thing you never do is you never put food on a credit card. Yeah. Okay, because the result of that food goes in the toilet. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> so now that I get shafted that way, I get shafted this way. Yeah. <laughs> 89, 82 is what we come up with, sir. That's going to be good. That'll be fine. Just keeping those spots in, in my mind. <laughs> I'm not keeping them in my mind. 